what's up guys back again and this video is gonna kind of piggyback on the last video but this is kind of a simple one that we've all heard but this is it just I, I remembered a conversation I was having with my coworker earlier today about how anything valuable comes at a price if it doesn't cost you very much it's probably not very valuable that's that's just how that's just the way it goes in life that's what I was telling my my younger coworker and one of the things I like to do at my job is if I see any younger guys come into my space if I if I ever have to deal with any younger guys I just I try to give them some advice I try to meet them where they're at in life I try to you know I don't try to say things that are gonna go over their head I try to look into their life and try to speak some kind of words of encouragement or, or life or maybe try to open up their mind a little bit to a new perspective I try to open up people's minds about money about just I just try to share with people about how my mind has opened about how uh, how you can make a lot of money in this life and how you can really live a prosperous life that's one of the lessons I've been learning this year but anyway to get back on track my coworker was asking me about my my tools and my tool bags because one thing about me and my job I, I'm basically a carpenter for lack of better terms even though I don't really like using that term I don't like putting myself in a box but I'm basically a carpenter for lack of better terms and I have all of the the best of the best tools basically I got a nice uh, 1990s Hitachi framing nailer stiletto hammer occidental leather tool bags Milwaukee fuel cordless tools I just I like to have the best of the best tools because when you really invest in something when you really spend the money and the energy you, you get what you pay for that's just the way it goes and this this can be applied in a lot of different areas I'm just kind of talking about tools on a job site right now but take having a child for example think about the the effort the energy the sacrifice the determination the grit the perseverance it takes to raise a functional adult in modern society this is no easy undertaking this is this is something serious raising a functional adult in modern society see there are very many functional people in this world there are not very many people that are healed and emotionally mature and and have a positive self-image it just it, it's it's almost non-existent unfortunately because part of that is because it's so difficult to raise a functional adult like I keep saying in the society we live in because obviously we live in a very toxic society the foods toxic everything you touch is toxic and it's just it's so hard to, to do that but I just kind of wanted to use that as an example it's just it's so hard to to raise a child but at the end of the day what's the payoff you have a functional adult you have someone that can go out and affect the world exponentially think about how much a human being can affect the world around them it's it's just insane it's 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 literally exponential because then your child can go on and affect other people and, then, and those people can affect, and it's literally a ripple effect. So everything you do is, is literally just a ripple effect. So, <clears throat> kind of got off track there, but I hope you guys get what I'm saying. Anything worthwhile is going to have a heavy price. Like the lessons in life. A lot of, a lot of the lessons I know now came from a lot of hard work, a lot of frustration, a lot of heartache and a lot of just basically getting my mind fucking blown and realizing wait a minute I do not know anything I had I had basically I kind of the light bulb went on in about what was it like spring of 2015 I just kind of woke up and realized one day like wait a minute nothing I'm doing even matters and I, I really don't know crap I was this cocky you know, teenage boy, thought I had a few things figured out, but I realized, wait a minute, 
I, I really don't know as much as I thought I know. And that really humbled me. Because I hadn't gone through life and paid the price to learn the lessons. I hadn't done that yet. And I, I realized that. And then another thing I wanted to kind of bring to you guys' attention is the way I think about life is it, it's like a spiral. Life is like a spiral. You go around and around and around. And as you're going around living your life, you come across things you've come across before. Maybe an old song. Maybe an old friend. Maybe an old book. An old passage in the Bible or I don't know. You'll come across things that you've come across before. But since you're at a new place in life and you've learned different lessons, you paid the cost to learn those lessons, you receive that information in a totally different way. And it's a totally new revelation. Like, like basically what I'm telling you guys right now, the cost of uh, the anything worthwhile has a heavy cost. I like relived that lesson today while I was talking to my coworker and I just like, I, I had a new revelation on the whole subject. I know, I know we've all heard the, the topic before, but the whole reason I'm making this video is really just to kind of articulate it in a different way. And hopefully someone out there watches this video and they kind of hear what I'm saying and I maybe me articulating in this way kind of sparks something different in their mind and gets them to think about it in a different way. But anyway guys, <clears throat> kind of starting to rant here, but that's, that's the whole gist of the video. The tools I buy, the expensive tools, perform a lot better than the cheap tools and that's kind of a metaphor for anything else in life the more you pay for something the more you can expect out of that thing that's why a lot of life coaches charge for their courses a lot of people charge because they know if they don't charge their students the students won't take the information seriously because they have no skin in the game and they have nothing invested in it so I respect people they charge for their courses or charge for their information because at the end of the day, the only way to, to gain value or gain lessons is to pay some sort of price. It's, it's always an equal exchange in life. Anyway, guys, hope you liked the video. This is kind of like a part two to my last video. Hope you have a good night. Bye.